Savage Dragon number seven. Where we last left off, Frank and the Savage Dragon were going to take on Overlord. Quick look at the credits here. Eric Larson, of course. Ruben Rude on color. Village Idiot, Josh Eckhorn. So there's some iconic shots in here, like this elevator shot of these two guys. And this here, where they're confronting Overlord. These will show up again in later issues. Um, and this is an all splash page issue. So like every page is its own, just single image, basically single panel. And, uh, it does not go well for Frank. <laughs> he immediately gets obliterated and, uh, you know, it's pretty shocking when a, a main character just gets destroyed like that. So there's a fight that takes place and does not go Savage Dragon's way. It's like a wrestling fight, you know, just uh, the heel takes control. We cut to the back. Dude is down. Cyberface is dead. Cyberface is going to be a witness against the Overlord. And more bad news, man. Savage Dragon was not ready for how powerful Overlord is. But he's getting to his feet. Starts making a comeback. Now he's really hot. That's a great... God, I feel like I was on a trading card or something like that. Got a poster by Jason Pearson. The Vanguard. And then... Savage Dragon gets his friggin' hand blown off. It's the second time he says Jesus. <laughs> Man, he looks really upset about that. As he should be. Man, then he just gets a hole blown through his chest. Knocked out the window. Falling. Who knows how many stories. Some really cool... Really cool stuff here. Oh, and he lands on a spike. I mean, just the worst. <laughs> and I think this is the last image. Oh, the bloody hand. So I think this is great. One of the best Savage Dragon books out there. A real iconic issue. And this letters page is so freaking funny. Man, it looks white. I'm pretty sure this is like a green letters page. So yeah, it's a long letter. You know, you get all that story there. And then you get like seven or eight pages of letters. That's pretty cool. And I wanted to highlight a couple of these. Um, so one of the first ones... Let's see. I've got to find this letter. Okay, yeah. So Savage Dragon will get people will give him a lot of heat for his depictions of women. Uh, this guy included. Uh, he says that you know he has two daughters, and this writer, this uh, the letter writer Jim Martin here out of New Jersey says that he has daughters, and he wouldn't let them read Savage Dragon because of the. Uh, Voluptuous women just walking around in bikini bottoms, basically. And uh, he says he likes the book, but he's concerned about the depiction of women. And so Larson answers this. And he says that, uh, you know, he produces comics that he, enjo that he enjoys, that Eric Larson enjoys himself. And he's not trying to please anybody. And that if his tastes aren't shared, then um, they shouldn't be spending money on his book. He also says that the men in his comic, like barbaric, wear thong costumes as well. But uh, so it's not just the women, but the guys. And that comics are essentially, um, let's see, let's see. Comics are essentially nude with lines drawn around their bodies. So even fleshy areas are just covered like slightly different than areas that are supposed to have clothing. So it's like the lines remain the same. Um, 
and that comics are just like semi, basically semi nude versions of idealized perfect specimens. And that, you know, there's plenty of books that don't have that stuff in it, but his does. So that's, I think an adult way to look at comic books. Uh, okay. And then there's a guy who asked about issue zero and ask, will Eric Larson have an issue zero? And he says, there is, there is no Savage Dragon Zero, nor will there ever be any. Which is not true. Because he made an issue zero that I've got. <laughs> and then uh, I think somebody else asked about a, like a half issue. Which is like the wizard half issues. And he mentions those would be hard to do as well. But he does end up doing one of those. Alright, and here's the last letter, which I think is one of the funniest freaking things. I've ever read. I'll try and um, do it justice here. This is from Paul Ryan of Illinois. The cover to Savage Dragon 1 uh, was very inviting, so I bought your comic. What I found was a vague storyline, many thoughtless fights and stupid characters, but the art wasn't so bad. I kept reading, hoping it would get better. Now after finishing number 5, the story has moved very little. There are even more thoughtless fights due to the abundance of stupid characters, i.e. Ricochet, Rapture, Vanguard, and Mighty Man. Mighty Man! What's up with that? This character can't be dumb enough to live up to his name. Your art, it seems to me, is getting sloppy and distorted, as if you're trying to get your work done in one day. Frankly, I was looking for in Savage Dragon was a character with depth and a decent story. What I found was a bunch of faggly fights and a way to introduce a truckload of faggy super freaks. If you don't get rid of the excess and focus on the main character, which happens to be the Savage Dragon, then just call your comic a bunch of dumb crap. Paul Ryan. <laughs> so uh, Larson responds, Gee, Paul, I wasn't focusing on more than the dragon anyway. Still, if I ever need an alternative title for the book, I'll make sure to keep yours in mind. I laughed my ass off when I read that. So that was issue seven. Issue eight next.